Elemental challenge. Starting through the periodic table. Huh? Yttrium? What can Lytrium do? Is it fun? It's fun. Yttrium can form a magical superconducting material, and with it, we can reproduce the floating islands from sci-fi movies and all the fun stuff. Floating islands? Sounds surrealistic. How can we reproduce it? Doubt it? Come see it for yourself. This is today's experiment subject. Yttrium barium copper oxide superconductor, YBCO. It was the first superconductor to break through the liquid nitrogen temperature range. With it, we can easily reproduce floating islands. Huh? YBCO. It's heavy. How are you going to make it float? Just watch. Place it on a magnet and watch closely. It has no magnetic properties, let alone float, right? Yeah. But if we put it in a bowl and pour in some liquid nitrogen to cool it down, soon we'll witness something magical. What happened? It's not over yet. Whoa! It hangs upside down too? What? What's going on here? This is the magic of superconductors. At low temperatures, YBCO enters a superconducting state, exhibiting the property of resisting magnetic fields, causing it to float on a magnet. Because of its crystal defect, it leads to the bending effect, keeping it fixed in place, so it can float like a floating island, maintaining a constant height. Hey, I've got a great idea. We'll arrange lots of magnets to form a track and make it float along. Would that be like a maglev train? Let's do it. I only read about superconductors in textbooks, and now I can see one in person. Yeah, the earliest superconductors had such low working temperatures that they barely left the lab. But thanks to continuous scientific breakthroughs, superconducting materials have made their way into our lives. The track is ready. It's time to launch the superconducting train. Let's see if it can speed along this long track. One day, the temperature superconductors will be a fantasy. They'll ride the train of science to become part of our lives. 